welcome back guys to another video so i have the techno pop 4 it's the new entry level smartphone of 2020 from techno and also the successor to techno pop 3 so in this video i'll be comparing the techno pop 4 with the techno spark 5 yes both of them have a whole lot of similarities and few differences not only that i'm going to also carry out the speed test and the camera test and despite being an entry level smartphone this one has got and in this video, we will find out if it's strong enough to stand to the Techno Spark 5 compared side by side. So please guys, before I go on with the review and comparison, I beg you to kindly reach out to that subscribe button just below your thumb and subscribe to my channel. Yes, thank you. And one more thing, don't forget the bell for notifications on my next video upload. The Techno Pop 4 is a very appealing smartphone. Honestly, I love the whole idea about the Pop 4. The design alone is pretty much fascinating and if you don't take a closer look, this phone does not in any way look like an entry-level smartphone. This phone is the latest announced and also released just in July 2020. It is also made available for sale and the available price is just affordable. But does it really justify the phone's worth? The design is quite simple and commendable. It has the same innovation designed by Techno for its 2020 devices except for the quad camera layout that's missing out here. But on the Spark 5, is a quad camera combination. So how does the single camera lens on the Pop 4 compares to the quad camera lens on the Techno Spark 5? We will find out very soon. Both devices are plastic built, made of polycarbonate material. The Techno Spark 5 is a satisfyingly beautiful device that is still trending in today's market. But looking at the new Pop 4, it is also eye catchy especially seeing it for the first time. They both have an intricate premium finish. On the rear, you will find the camera layout and the capacitive fingerprint scanner on both devices. Then on the right side is the power button and the volume rocker. But when it comes to the SIM placement, it's different. On the Spark 5, you will find the dual nano SIM and the micro SD card slot on the left. But on the Pop 4, instead of a SIM ejector tool, you will have to pull open the back cover to reveal the slots for your dual nano SIMs and the micro SD card. For me, I think it's more safer. You can easily insert and pull out as well without needing a pin. Then at the bottom is the usual micro USB port and the earphone jack on the Pop 4. So how much is the Pop 4 compared to the Techno Spark 5? The new Techno Pop 4 is available at a very affordable price of 35000 which amounts to $90. US For entry-level device, it doesn't get any better than this. For the Techno Spark 5, you will have to add an additional 15,000 Naira to the 35 to get the Spark 5 and that amounts to $130. On the front, you have a 6.0 inches display on the Techno Pop 4. On the Spark 5, it's a bigger 6.6 .6 inches display. Both of them are IPS panel with different resolutions. On the Spark 5, it's a 720x1600 pixel resolution and the 720x1440 pixel resolution on the Pop 4. So YouTube videos are limited to 480 pixels on the Pop 4 and on the Spark 5 is a 720p video limitation. Their color reproduction is not so bad, even with the limitation, it is clear and defined. They are both HD displays with good angles, but that depends on your content. So what do you think of the display of the Techno Pop 4? The bezels are really noticeable, at the top and also below. At the top you have the single LED light and the selfie camera lens. On the Spark 5. There is a poncho for its front camera and the bezels on top is slim. On the performance end, they both spot the same MediaTek Helio A22 processor. The Pop 4 is a 64-bit quad-core chip that is clocked at 1.3 GHz speed, while the Spark 5 is an octa-core chip that is clocked at 2.0 GHz. They are both 2 GB of RAM and a 32 GB of internal storage, and also Android version 10. So since they are both MediaTek Helio A22 chip on board, let's find out which device is faster than the other in the speed test. So first, launching the Google Chrome browser. The Spark 5 is the first to launch. And also the first to start up to the home page. So the next app to start is the Facebook application. The Spark 5 launches first. And also starts up first.
But when it comes to launching and starting the YouTube application, the Techno Pop 4 is in first place. And also launching and starting the Viskit app. The Pop 4 loads up first. And lastly, starting the camera app. It is the Techno Spark 5. They both have the same graphic processor on board. Power VR GE A320 GPU. So you can play not too heavy games on these smartphones. The battery available is a 5000 mAh battery on the Techno Pop 4 and the Techno Spark 5 with a standard 5 watt charging. On the rear of the Pop 4, the camera lens is a 5 megapixel and 8 megapixel selfie. The Spark 5 is a 13 megapixel lens, but the images produced by the Pop 4 is really defined over the 13 megapixel lens of the Spark 5 with the right amount of saturation level. The Spark 5 also have fine details, but I didn't expect the Pop 4 image quality to match up to the 13 megapixel and even do better. But when it comes to video shots, their qualities are almost the same. Inability to retain real colors. Shooting with the front camera of both devices, the results are not so good. They are both 8 megapixel lengths, but the Pop 4 performs much better. So if you were to make a choice based on camera performance of both devices, which one will you go for? Obviously the Pop 4 is defined to some point, so I would choose that. But if I'm to go for speed and responsiveness, the Spark 5 is my choice. Of course they both handle multitasking and app switching moderately, but don't load so much apps so to avoid sluggishness in performance. They both have good battery life and nicely perform. So which one is your choice here? To see more budget devices like this, I will leave the video link below so you check them out and make a good choice. Thank you so much guys for watching. Kindly subscribe before you leave. And don't go away with your comments. I really love to read alongside. Till I see you again, peace.